Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back with a new weapon to review, it's going to be a modded sniper rifle today and uh, it's actually called the Hyper Collider um, which has been made by Ugu over on the Borderlands 2 community github uh, and uh, this one is a very high uh, critical hit damaged very good accuracy sniper rifle um, and uh, I'm going to be playing mainly the uh, the lone sniper kind of in the distance um, today with this thing trying to keep as far away from enemies as possible obviously uh, sometimes you have to get a bit closer because they just pop out random doors like right here uh, but I will try my best to uh, actually show this thing off for the long range sniper rifle it's designed to be uh, I'm going to be using the Sniper Zero setup for this so uh, yeah there you go that is what we're going to be doing today the Hyper Collider uh, made by Ugu so uh, as always with these modded weapon guides I will start off by showing you guys exactly where to get it and then we'll get into the review and changes of the weapon and let you guys know exactly what it's all about so we'll start off by showing you where to get it as always you can click on the link in the description which will take you straight to it or you can navigate there yourself on the Borderlands 2 community github by clicking on Borderlands 2 mods uh, and then once you've done that find your way to Ugu's section it's uh, about midway down in uh, alphabetical order just there uh, just above variant Loki and below Tsunami so click on that that'll bring you to his page now you're going to be looking for the Hyper C uh, version 4 I believe we're on at the minute so look for that that is the Hyper Collider's page of all the information click on the raw tab right click save as and save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder remember what you've saved it as because then you're going to want to come in game open the console commands and execute the mod in here uh, and this will turn the Trespasser, which is the unique Red Tech Sniper Rifle, into the uh, Hyper Collider. So make sure you get yourself a Trespasser, either by giving yourself one in, or by just farming one in general anyway. Uh, and there you go, this is what the weapon will look like once it's been changed from the Trespasser to the Hyper Collider. Uh, now, like I said, this is a very long range sniper rifle, so you can hit enemies from a real decent um, uh, distance away uh, but first we'll have a look at the overview this is what it looks like it's now uh, serif rarity and the red text says we take position go invisible then boom they don't won't know what hit them uh, which is a very zero -y soundy reference right there uh, nice gold and red skin color on it as well the skin looks absolutely lovely on this thing very royal looking uh, so yeah there you go that is uh, what it looks like and uh, let's go, shall we pop his head from this distance? Look how far away we are. There you go, critical shot just like that. Uh, now I'm not the most precise sniper, as you can see, but this thing does actually hit scan as well, which we'll go into more detail um, later on, which will help you out pretty well. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do some kills and I will run through the list of changes. So, time to switch to a new map right here. We are in a thousand, um, not thousand cuts, sorry, anymore. We are going into Lynchwood and we're going to be running the little gauntlet to uh, Sheriff of Lynchwood and past her as well. Uh, the reason I've chose this is this uh, nice big long hallway of uh, enemies right here in a narrow area so we can uh, really show off the distance side of things right here so the information that you need to know like I said this is called the hyper collider and it's made by Ugu. it turns the trespasser into the hyper collider um, and if the trespasser and the Hawkeye got mixed that's the kind of thing this weapon is decided um, designed to be like and um, this will break the orcs child projectile so you can't use the orc with this uh, it's very still usable but be cautious when using custom weapons if they use this one as well. Um, feedback is heavily appreciated for this, uh, even if it is just for the skin. So if you've got anything to uh, to let him know, I've put it down in the comments below, or go over and uh, contact him yourself if you want to uh, tell him what you think of this uh, weapon. This might or might not break the V, um, so be broken if you're using velocity and accelerate. Uh, if it's boosted beyond 10 out of five uh, skills, this might actually break it. So just a warning right there. So this has very high projectile speed as you can see when you shoot an enemy from a long distance it will pretty much connect straight away there is not much lag on the bullet at all which is pretty good um, and you can hit scan with this making it useful 
uh, on very very long ranges so basically hit scanning is um, a game mechanic that uh, mainly on like first person shooters like COD and stuff like that where uh, it's just a calculation of when uh, like say you shoot a bullet if it hits an object it'll decide uh, if an object's in its path whether or whether, whether or not that it makes uh, that a hit if you get what I mean I'm not the best at computer programming things and stuff like that but I did have a, a quick look at the definition right there so if you want to learn more about hit scanning just go and google it yourself instead of listening to me try and predict it and ramble on about it um, so yeah it's got a very high fire rate higher than the original trespasser uh, now this doesn't look like a high fire rate weapon and uh, but if you do know the trespasser quite well it is very very slow so this is definitely an improvement on that still pretty low but it's much better than the trespasser does have increased base damage and very high accuracy uh, though not if you fire it very quickly so obviously you've got to uh, take time in between each shot this is still a sniper rifle and it's definitely not an assault sniper rifle so uh, make sure that you let your uh, you let the recoil fully recover after taking a shot for that accuracy to be kept intact bullets will penetrate shields though so uh, when you do shoot don't worry about the shield it will take uh, off the health as you can see right here which is pretty handy there's no more annoying when you try to snipe than an enemy coming out with a huge solid shield so uh, yeah this is definitely good for that it'll deal explosive um, damage to armor additional explosive damage to armor so any armored enemies uh, will get that uh, explosive damage on them uh, and this will crown for critical hits as well so if you've got an enemy with high shield uh, and you crit him then you will deal explosive damage to him it does have a low clip size though it's meant to have a clip size of five but obviously i'm using a zero uh, with a few select skills for sniping so my mag size is a lot bigger with him so bear that in mind as well so uh, yeah there you go guys that is pretty much everything you need to know about this weapon i really did have a good time with this like i said i'm not the uh, you know i wasn't born to snipe i'm not the best sniper in the world uh, and both sides of zero actually challenge me quite a lot sometimes i enjoy playing uh, them but I'm no uh, ninja assassin I'm certainly no big long-range sniper but uh, when I get a chance to test out a weapon uh, meant for zero really sniping especially I do love just chilling out staying at a distance going for them headshots and watching uh, some damage go down so this weapon really does do that pretty well anyway let me know what you think of this down in the comments below uh, and uh, yeah hopefully there'll uh, be some positive feedback about it uh, so yeah that was the hyper collider made by Ogu thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one